On previous episodes, you probably have noticed that Vapor prepares your assets and uploads them to AWS. And this happens because Vapor uses a service called Amazon CloudFront. And this service ensures that all your assets, including videos, um, CSS, and images, are delivered globally with low latency and high speed. In short, this just means that when your application is being served on Vapor, Vapor will inject the CloudFront um, domain on the source of your asset. Now, let's see an example in our application. If I go to resources, views, uh, team.blade.php, you will find the exact view I'm seeing here on my vanity domain. Now, to ensure that all assets are loaded correctly on Vapor, the only thing you need to do is use the asset helper from Laravel. This helper accepts as first argument the asset itself, which should be on the public directory of your application. Then, this helper will make sure to inject the CloudFront domain associated to your project when your application is being served on Vapor. Yet, if your application is being served locally using something like PHP Artisan Serve, you can see that the asset helper will actually work with the local domain. Now, let's add a new teammate to this view. So first, let's add the new teammate image to our public directory. Then let's modify the team.play.php, adding a new card to our teammate. Let's uh, update the name and update the description. And of course, update the asset as well. And remember, always use the asset helper. So now if we visit our local page, we can sure enough see the new team member being added to the list of uh, teammates. And of course, this asset is being served locally. So we can safely deploy this new code to our Vapor environments. So let's go to our terminal and of course type Vapor Deploy Staging. Now, one thing you will see in this deployment is that Vapor is smart enough to understand that it just needs to upload the new asset. Because if we go to our vanity domain here, you will see that we already have this asset right here, so we don't need to re-upload it. Yet, the new team member asset needs to be uploaded. And if we go to our deployment output, you will see just that. Vapor is uploading the new asset and will not touch on existing assets. And sure enough, once the deployment is completed, we will see the new team member here appearing on this uh, vanity domain. So let's hit another uh, refresh. And of course, the new team member is appearing here on the page. That's because our deployment is completed. And sure enough, this asset is being served from CloudFront. All right, some final remarks before we close the episode. The asset helper needs to be used on images, but also in your entire asset stack that lives on the public directory. That includes CSS, but also JavaScript. And if you are using JavaScript, you are most likely using a bundler such as Webpack. With Webpack, you will need to specify the public path of your assets. And for that, you can use the asset URL environment variable. This environment variable gets adjusted during the deployment by Vapor so, when your application is running on Vapor environments, it will point to your CloudFront domain. Just ensure that all the compilation step of your JavaScript is being done during the build hooks of your environment. 
And that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to talk about how can we manage the environment variables of your vapor environments.